Hello everyone, um, in this video I'll be showing you how you can install Windows 11 on any PC or laptop. In my case, I'll be installing Windows 11 on this Lenovo. Yes, it is a Lenovo ThinkPad 11th generation. And in this video, I'll be using this flash disk right here. I'll use this flash disk. It has my Windows installed in on it. And in the previous video, I showed you how you can make this flash disk a bootable flash or how you can install Windows 11 on this flash disk. So first thing that we are going to do is go ahead and insert this flash disk in there. And we have to make sure that we have Windows 11 on, on it. Yes, I have Windows 11 on it. I have Windows 11 on it because I have it set up right here. This is the setup for Windows 11. Okay, so what I have to do is go ahead and restart this laptop or I can shut it down, anything. But I'll just click on restart here. <coughs> it is restarting. I'm using a Lenovo. It could be, you could install it on a Dell, HP or anything. So as it is getting back on, I'll click on F12 several times and it will take me straight to the boot section. On an HP laptop, you click on F9 and if you are using a Dell, you can click on F2. So the, under the boot section, this is what it brings and I'll go ahead and select this, the USB, USB, this one right here, USB H. DD sand disk blade because that is my flash disk that is the flash disk that i have right here this one right here it is a sand disk uh usb flash so that's what i will go ahead and select here as well so i'll select it and this is what it is saying uh it is opening all those this could be different if you are maybe installing it on a Dell or on an HP laptop. So let us give it just a few minutes. And yeah, it is loading just a few seconds. And it is loading and brings up this blue screen. Brings up this blue screen and all you have to do is give it just a few seconds. And if you're new here, you can please hit the subscribe button and you know follow it up and once it opens it will ask you the language that you can uh, select to install the language to install it is english unfortunately it's bringing only that english option then time and currency format i will leave it to english as well yes i'll leave it to english as well then the, the <coughs> keyboard and input method you can select this to any to the preferred language or the preferred country that you're in the preferred language or the current country that you're in but i will not change anything here all i have to do is click on next then here you will have to enable this yes enable that and then click on next then here yeah here is where we have to be extremely careful because it is bringing all these different partitions of our hard drive or on our hard disk the first one which is a uh, total size of 100 mbs uh, you don't need this so you have to go ahead and delete it then the next one which is a uh, total size of uh, 16 mbs you don't need that so you'll delete it as well and we are left with these three partitions this one this one and this one this middle one you don't need it as well because its total size is 831 mbs so we shall go ahead and delete it yes we are deleting all these the unallocated ones this one is also unallocated we have deleted it as well so we have these two we have this one which has a total space of 140 gigabytes plus this one here that has a total space of 132 gigabytes. So 
before my windows were installed on this one how do i know i know it because before i decided to install windows on this machine i knew exactly which drive had windows on it and which drive i had backed up my information so my information is backed up on this drive here this one that has 320 this one that has 332 gigabytes that is where my information is backed up so i'll click on to this one this one right here which had windows installed on it previously i'm going to clean it and install new windows on it so all i have to do is click format prompt me and then i'll say yes then i'll wait for it to format completely and i'll click on this button that says next and yeah windows will go ahead and start installing on this partition it is very very fast unlike windows 10 or windows 8 or 7 this is extremely extremely fast so let us go ahead and give it just a few a few more minutes for it to complete installation so so it is done installing and this took about five to seven minutes and right here if you're not patient you can just click on restart now and it will go ahead and restart just give it a few more seconds and yeah it is restarting i told you if you're installing it on wind or on if you're installing it on an hp machine it is the same procedure if you're installing it on a dell machine it is still the same procedure in my case here i am installing it on a lenovo thinkpad 11th generation laptop and it was so smooth so quick and very 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 efficient and right there there we are it is done installing and the advantage with this particular windows 11 it comes with pre-installed softwares such as the uTorrents we have firefox we have google chrome we have the winrar for unzipping files it comes with a notepad and with a vlc media player so thank you so much for watching the video we are done installing in the next video i'll show you how you can install drivers i'll show you how you can install in other softwares and programs Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.